Here at Reading in Systems Engineering, we offer two sets of degrees. We have one set in computing, which is computer science and information technology. And then on what I would call the engineering side, we have cybernetics, electronic engineering, artificial intelligence and robotics. The first year of all our engineering degrees is the same. So students who come in to do those courses take exactly the same first year. And then in the second year, and the final years take options which are towards the particular courses. The computer science and information technology degrees are more focused with the computer science towards technical computing, looking at things like the theory of computer science as well as the programming, and with the information technology looking at the business side of things. Hi, my name's Tanya and I'm a final year student studying information technology with management. I really enjoy the mix between the two because I think that they complement each other well. For example, I'm learning technical aspects such as databases and IT, whereas in business I'm learning things such as marketing and accounting and organisational behaviour. So in my future career, if I decide to go into a technical programme, then I can use the business skills to know the best ways of managing teams and the policies regarding human resources. A question that I really get asked when I'm working at the Open Days, especially for my course um, Computer Science, is that a lot of prospective students haven't really studied programming as part of their A-levels or high school life before, and that's what they're really apprehensive about. But the university teaches you from the start, so they give you support as part of practical sessions and even one-to-one -one sessions where you can go and speak to the lecturers. I really enjoyed the Android development side of programming. Uh, we have a lecturer at this university who actually runs a course uh, to teach Android development and has even released his own games onto the market. I'm Carsten Mr. Lundqvist. I teach three different modules, Java, human computer interfacing and uh, evolutionary computation and then I also have an online uh, course that I teach uh, which is called Begin Programming. We go into the more advanced features of programming and we actually end up where uh, students get to create an Android game. I, I love games, you know, I I've, I've, been, I've been playing games since gosh, 79 on computers so I also want to introduce that into my teaching because actually you might think that games are just fun but they are really a great way of learning how to program, especially when you're making games. It is one of the most difficult things to do well. No, so I try to have fun when I'm teaching, because why would I want to have four students? In addition to the computer science and IT degree courses, we have more practically based engineering courses. The cybernetics degrees are all about systems and their control, both uh, technological, man-made systems and also biological systems. Robotics is concerned with the machine aspects of cybernetics and so in that degree you learn about uh, how to design, build and control robots. The artificial intelligence programs are more concerned with the processing and intelligence aspects of cybernetics, so how machines think. I'm Maitri Vairakkar. I'm in my fourth year of M Engine Artificial Intelligence and Cybernetics and I'm also a student member of Brain Embodiments Lab. Well, Reading is the only university in the world which offers this unique combination of cybernetics and artificial intelligence. You have the hardware which is in cybernetics and the in-depth programming for multiple different languages with artificial intelligence. It also leads on to um, neural studies, so neuroscience, neural networks, stuff like that. So you're not just constricted to writing programs, you can actually go into the hardware and medical engineering side of things. The electronic engineering degree program is designed so that um, it develops the skills and knowledge that you need to be an electronic engineer in today's high-tech. Um, electronics industry. But one of the things that we pride ourselves on is that our degree courses are informed by the real world. So what industry wants, what the future wants. What we're trying to do now is to prepare our students for a future which we can only imagine.